Right, I've got the dovetail slot now cut to full depth. I've got the tool pushed off the lathe so I can give it a try. And it fits in there quite nicely and locks in quite nicely as well. What I need to do now is I need to put a, a final cut across that face there. Just fly cut that just to get a finish on it and then put a, a nice chamfer on that edge and I'll do those two edges as well when it's in the vase that it's setting. Then we'll chop it into three, possibly two, but I think three and machine the rest of the two rollers. Right, I've got the fly cut I've set up. Take a nice light cut. I've also honed the, honed the tool to so put a nice finish on. Which it appears to be. You can get a decent finish with a fly cutter on steel. You can get a mirror finish on aluminium, it's amazing how what sort of finish you can get on aluminium. All I want to do here is put a nice little chamfer down that edge there and that edge. The chamfer is not just so it looks good, it also means you won't damage that edge. If you drop that, it'll ding the edge straight away. If it's got a nice chamfer on, it won't damage it. That's a basic dovetail part finished. And the tool first slots onto it and that locks it on solid. This type of tool post is what they call a wedge type tool post. That's a wedge there that goes wedge there that goes down and it's on the tape so it obviously gets wider and that's what grips onto the tool holder. The other type which looks similar is a piston type that's got a piston in there and when you pull that down the piston comes out and forces it to grip on the dovetail. I've used both types, I had a piston type on the other lathe, I had no problem with it but I must admit I prefer this type, it certainly seems to get a much stronger hold. The tool push simply drops on, the wedge goes down and that's what locks it. So it works there. It's a little bit like a chuck, a chuck on a lathe. You see the teeth there and the jaws. This is a Chinese tool post. Somebody actually gave us it. Um, they, they got it in a lot of gear, the board, and it was they didn't need it. And it's just a perfect size for my Harrison lathe. I mean, a different handle as you've probably seen. One problem you do get with these. Cheap tool I can keep tool posts is that Allen Burks, the cap head screws they use are absolute rubbish, they're really soft. In fact, cap head screws aren't ideal for in here because the the holes where the key goes in there, they tend to fill up with swarf and shite. They're actually better off with a square head like on the Dickinson one with a proper socket. But saying that I've been away and bought a I bought a box of a hundred. Decent High tensile rub screws. Let's 
see the actual, actual hole for the keys a lot deeper. That one there is badly worn, but these have done quite a lot of work. Right, getting back to the job in hand. I think what I'll do now is I'll turn it over and I'll fly cut the back face and then mount it in the hacksaw, chop it up into. I'm not sure if I'm going to get three out of this or just two. But I'll turn it over and fly cut the back and then we'll go from there. That's actually not a bad finish on there. I'll just whisper it with a fly cutter. Just touch in there. Just a nice light cut. quite a nice finish on there and this front side's finished I need to cut it up into pieces now I'm going to get two two of the same size as that one I'll get two of them plus a smaller one which I can probably utilise to make a, a DTI holder with Be a smaller one in the centre I could get three slightly shorter ones than that, but by the time I put a bigger slot in to hold the bigger tools, I, I do need the extra bit of meat just so it doesn't split up when I come to tighten the bolts. The blade's actually broke on the band saw, so there's only one thing for it. That's right, put the spare blade on. I don't really care how long it takes this hack sort of put through this, it'll probably do it in 10 minutes, anything better than standing down it by hand. Believe me, I've done plenty of it. Right, the saw's done its work and it didn't hurt my arms at all. So we've ended up with two full size ones. And one smaller one. Like I say, I think I'll make a, a dead gear trail now with that one. To pick that another bigger lump of bar. You can see they're slightly longer. Quite a bit deeper. So I can get a, a deeper slot in. Same height. Next thing will be to square the, these two faces up. And those two ends. I've probably mounted on the tool post and put the tool post in the vise and then machine the slot in through there for the to take the tool. Drill it and tap it for the grub screws and the adjusting bolt. Got quite a lot of lathe tool in that size. That's 20mm square. I've made the, the hole an inch 
I've made the groove an inch high, 20 mil deep, so they fit in there very nicely. I've also got some inch tooling which will fit in there as well. It's a nice fit on the dovetail. The locking handle stops in the right place. It's no good having it with a the handle stopping around there. Nice, neat fit. Using Randy's dovetail cutter, which I'm very impressed with. It hasn't even marked the, hasn't even marked the insert. I think this could be worked a lot harder than I actually worked it. Trying to smaller our cutter here, running faster. That's 150 thou cut. That's cutting that no problem at all. Finish that. Some nasty edges there to take off. The tools are good fit. Perfect. It always amazes me how much metal you get out of a small slot. thread for the adjusting bolt and M10 for the clamping ones. I need to find the edge of the block. We'll bring this in. We'll stop moving. That's the edge there. So that's the edge of the block plus half that distance. I think that was a 4mm pin. Yep, a 4mm pin. So if I wind my DRO that way, 2mm, that puts us right on the right on the edge with the centre line of the machine. I'm going to go in 10 and then go in 15 on both sides. That's going to be the spacing for the, the bullet holes. It's not worth marking them out when you've got a DRO, you can just do them on the fly, so to speak. Right, so right on the edge, we need to go in 10. That's one there. Right in the centre of the, the centre of the slot. Yeah, 
Time to drop and drill. That's the finished article, and then make a stool for there with a, a new nut on the top. Thank you. 